I was supremely ambitious. Okay. Ambitious to make a change, ambitious to be successful, um, ambitious to get other people to be successful. Okay. Um, but I'm probably at the second half of my life now, so I hit my ambition, um, sold my business, and I'm now looking looking for something else. Right. So what do you think changed for you? Um, for me, it was, was the environment that changed that no longer rewarded me. Right. So my business um, was hugely successful. I really enjoyed working with senior people. I enjoyed right. facing senior people. And post the 2008 GFC, people um, were worried more about money and wanted less quality um, at, and a lower price. Right. And I found that I could give the quality of service I wanted to give. So that's, that's what's ambition, to be the best. Um, and I wasn't in a position to be the best. And people didn't demand the best of me. And I found that very unrewarding. Okay. So can you describe for me the most ambitious person who you know? Mei Chen. Uh-huh. Why do you say that? <laughs> um, Mei Chen is ruthless in her ambition. Probably, right. and um, I actually like her because what you see is what you get, and there's no pretense about being anything other than determined to be the best public policy lawyer, determined to run the best public policy business, then determined to set up global women, then determined to set up New Zealand Asian leaders. Now I see she's on the afternoon program on the radio. She's a woman who whose drive seems to know no end. I don't need monetary success. Um, I've made enough for the way of life I like to lead. Um, so I, I'm ambitious about getting involved in things where I can make a change. So in, if you had ambitious in a business sense, I'm not ambitious in a business sense anymore. If I'm ambitious, it's more in a... Uh, philanthropic, but it's giving my time rather giving than just back. giving money, giving back. The, the tall poppy syndrome is alive and well. Okay. Um, people, that's why I like Mei Chen, because she couldn't care a stuff. People try and pretend that they're not as ambitious as they are. Um, women in particular um, will often downplay their, their ambition. I've probably just done it myself. Um, <laughs> and um, they, they don't like to, it's almost like you seem to be grasping. Right. Um, I remember when I set up Bell McCall and we started making profit and I bought a new car, just an ordinary golf, VW golf, nothing spectacular. And people around and about in my suburb were incredibly negative about it. And I was thinking, oh, it's a car, you know, but they sort of don't think you're going to be grand because you bought a new car. Uh, you know, here am I, a woman breaking out from being a full-time mother, setting up a business, making enough money to buy a new golf. Instead of saying, "Yay, well done," it was, "Don't you? Don't think you're too grand." 